See, nice little pink ward there to make sure that Avoidless is going to be doing this without any indication from the enemy team. Ganty just going to let that one go. We're on to Trundle, he's level 6. Yeah, Boomerang Blade coming through here as well. The Ricochet comes down. There's the Requiem and First Blood is going to go to Passa there in the mid lane. Beautifully orchestrated. Just decides to see how long it is by walking through it. And let me. he's got Body Slam. There's in fact the Death Sentence as well. Subjugate trying to keep him alive. Lands on another barrel at the same time. And Avoidless picks up the kill. And Southwind's Thresh has been really impressive. Insurgents of people is in fact there's... Sync Dream coming through the Chompers land as well. Super Mega Death Rocket, and that's going to be picked up by Sync Dream. Sync Dream actually just altered for that one. No worries. Picked up there from the kill on Lemmy. We start off the Dragon. Gumty trying to rotate, but they definitely don't have the same vision quality. They do have the Glacial Prison, and that's always something to respect. Yeah, Dark Binding actually going to help take down South Wind here as the Super Mega Death Rocket comes through as well. South Wind very, very low. They're going to lose a man in this fight, of course, unless... Oh, that's actually the Glacial Prison. Look at the Shockwave immediately deletes Kabe, and he's the main carry in this one. Double kill already for Zhao, who his tail gets excited. Flashing forward, Southwind takes so much damage. Tabe is going to get deterred by that Requiem coming through. So many flashing health bars, but a beautiful engage by Gaunti. And look, if we're going to credit Legend Dragon for good rotations, that was an incredibly poor one from Maokai in particular. The teleporter started channeling after the... Shockwave had already wrecked the frontline, Passa in particular. Falling down meant that they didn't get any extra advantages from it. Oh, Avoidless now in a bit of trouble here as Soul Shackles comes through. There's the ult, the Shockwave comes down as well. They just threw all of their buttons in order to pick up the Fat Man, but does net them another kill. Which is great for Wave Clear. They're tuned for fighting. They've got the defensive and offensive wards for it, so it's smart that Legend Dragon Whoa. don't opt into the fight, but they sh won't be able to answer with this mid tower. Yeah, and look at this aggressive positioning as well. Struggled since then, but looking good on the Sejuani. Really is. Got Death Sentence there just a little bit, but he's so incredibly tanky. His passage just gets destroyed. Jahu takes him out with that Shockwave. Super Mega Death Rocket just sails over the top. But down in the bottom These lane, Gansi. These rotations are crazy. Oh, beautifully done. This is something that we haven't really seen, but that's a beautiful three-man play coming through. Chompers go down to try and stop this one from coming down. Huey out of this fight. His tail, he's going to get rep him to death. And Passa picking up that kill. Lovey Potato now takes a whole lot. Nice Dark Binding going to come down as Let Me does have Command Protect. A lot of extra tanky statistics, but he gets slowed. Gansi, he forces the flash, but man, this dissonance is tearing apart Kabe. ...was so on point from Gamti. Did not see a lot of this Gamti in the LPL, yeah. but the step up from LSPL and LPL what? as somehow Jahu picks up a pick on Thresh. It just kind of all came unstuck in the next 15 minutes, and it's looking now like a comfortable Gamti game that it wasn't earlier. Yeah, and let me... Definitely not behind now as he's just going to chomp through that Ooh. tower. Look at this damage coming down as well as the pillar slows down. Lovey Potato tries to utilize the sapling and the Righteous Glory to get out. But that's going to be a pick over the other side of the map on a Voidless here as well. Xiaohu just shockwaving him to death. And Legend Dragon just losing objec objectives across the board. And let me doesn't even care about this tower damage. Look at this inhibitor turret falling down. This let me has no cares in the world. And he has so much turret damage building the Ravenous Hydra. So much Hydra. cooldown. You don't expect it, but as you mentioned, the cooldown reduction and the Ravenous Hydra canceling that auto for the chomp. DPS is and turrets instantly. So some teleports come through. They're here to contest, but look at this. Yeah, Sync Dream actually flashing forward onto this one. Passer wants to die in the optimal position, but Sync Dream, he's going to survive until the Requiem comes through, of course. Protect. Tail, very, very low. The double kill instantly on the bottom lane. Passer, he actually died in a great spot. He got so much damage on in lay waste and defiles as the dragon's going to be contested. Yeah, the Shockwave going to try and come through here as well. Xiaohu, he's looking for it. Not quite in the right position. Southwind, they're going to be the only one that tanks that one up. Tabe trying to take down Let Me, of course. Let Me, not as tanky as he wants to be here. As the Flash Twisted Advance going to net the kill as the Boomerang comes through. Just the tip. Picking that one up. Explosive cast on to Jahu. Doesn't quite land the barrel, though, at the end as the Dissonance comes through. Oh. Misses the Flash. Command Protect is there, but you have to think that Avoidless, they would have picked... Oh, my goodness. He knows the range of that Boomerang quite nicely. Legend Dragon contested the Baron wonderfully. Now won a team fight. They're looking for a Baron of their own. Yeah, they've got 12 seconds in order to take this one down. Still Carthus some wards so to teleport damage. in. He certainly does. These Layways are ripping through it. Let me... Oh, my goodness. Actually, Tail picks up a kill there as the Zap comes down, but it is going to be the Baron taken. Super Mega Death Rocket just going to deter them from backing in the pit. But Tail putting out AoE crits with the Rocket form. Yeah. In the Baron pit, anything can happen in a situation like that. So going for that reliable one for Baron trade, good support play by South.
well as these high health targets. I'm a super big fan of the Leandris, as we might see a pick. Yeah, actually, Sync Dream taking a whole lot of damage. He does almost manage to get the Command Protect, but it doesn't come through. Tail in a really nice position, but that Shockwave only onto Lovey Potato has let me trying to tank up these members. He is doing a lot of healing. Flashes out as well. I wonder whether that Requiem is going to take him down. No, not going to happen this time. The Shockwave again awkwardly hits on just Lovey Potato. Jauhu. You need to really re-examine it. You need to hit a big shockwave. Yeah, Tail actually doesn't get hit by that death sentence as well as Voidless. Actually going to flash his way in here. Xiaohu going to fall down immediately. Tail trying to kite this one out. Lovey Potato, one more crit here from Tail is going to be enough as Sync Dream locks oh, down boy. the kill. And he gets excited now. Tail with that minigun ripping through the members of LD. And Kabe trying to get some work done as well. Flashes forward. So aggressive. And he's going to die as Tail Picks up a triple. Definitely a might meanwhile, have too But meanwhile, as you say, let me takes out the inhibitor. That's ridiculous. Let me just sort of wandered up through the enemy jungle and into that top lane. He's now going to transition towards the mid lane as well as the rest of Ganti. They can do what they want. And man, that was just a little bit of an overdive there for LD. So let me, I'm not even sure if he teleported back to base. Remember, we saw him not fall down to the Requiem. Suddenly see him up the top lane. Now he's in mid. And at full health and takes down the inhibitor turret. This Trundle is just doing whatever he wants. He's doing a Mundo impression. He's trundling them, Atlas. He is most definitely just trundling around, picking up what he wants, and that is a second inhibitor. That is insane. So much attack speed. Does it still actually give yeah. attack speed? I believe it, it does. does. And then just the auto attack reset has the Ravenous Hydra and the cooldown reduction, as you mentioned. Dude. Well, they did well, last time, me. and uh, they definitely do now. Yeah, they most certainly do, but Baron's going to go down. A Voidless steals it away, gets Shockwave for his trouble. But that Baron, stealing it from Ganti, that's a big deal because now they'll have Baroned up creeps to help them with this defense. Can't get the Baron buff on them. That is definitely important as the Chomp is going to come through. Lovey Potato taking a lot of damage from the distance Let there as not. well. As Lemmy just doesn't take any damage here. It's Kabe trying to kite around him. Tail gets the first kill now. It's Karth is going to get locked down by the Dark Binding. Sync Dream's been brilliant this game. Shout Southwind going to get himself killed at the same time. Requiem doesn't net too much as Kabe is going to fall down. Gamty, they're very low, but they almost score the aces of Voidless. He's just back up. And let me die at the end of the fight. But take a bow. What a wonderful solo tank play. Oh, Swift another shockwave. Avoidless. That's the ace. But what a crazy game. Legend Dragon came into this game strong, fell away, then again looked great. But it was all on let me with his split push. Getting Gun to this 1-0 victory. And Legend Dragon then have to go back into that strategy pool, find something different, because Gamti, they stole this game away. Yeah, and we always talk about Taylor as being this corky player who's fantastic in the mid game. That was some fantastic late game Jinx play as well. Able to turn around that fight in the bottom lane, then just there, just doing so much consistent damage.